Today, we visit the historic site of the Colonel's Cabin and World War II Interment and Prisoner of War Camp No. 130 in Kananaskis Country, Alberta, Canada. Not much remains except the Colonel's Cabin, Guard Tower No. 8, and some remnants of foundations left from the camp on the History Loop Trail. The Colonel's Cabin is one of the few remaining buildings in Alberta associated with the internment of Second World War prisoners of war. It was built in 1936 as part of the National Forestry Program. The program was designed to provide work for unemployed single men during the Great Depression. The Kananaskis Forest Experimental Station was founded as part of this program. Once the site was converted into an internment camp, the cabin served as a camp commandant's quarters. In 1939, the site was reclaimed by the Department of Defense and turned into the Kananaskis Internment Camp No. 130 and was later expanded and fortified as a prisoner of war camp. The camp detained combat officer personnel from late 1942 until 1946 when the camp closed. There were 26,000 prisoners of war interned in all of Alberta during the Second World War. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just made a quick stop here. We're gonna do a quick little video. Sounded like some interesting history on this place. So we're at the Colonel's Cabin, is what they call it here. And this is in Kananaskis country, Alberta. I guess the cabin normally they have open, but this year it's closed. The Colonel's Cabin, constructed in 1936 by the Department of National Defense, served as an employment relief camp office. During World War II, the cabin was converted to the Commandant's Quarters as it became an internment camp and later a prisoner of war camp. And in recent years, they used it as a forestry office and visitor center. Yeah, and it's a historic site now. But it's not open this year. Here's a look at it. So that's why I stopped, because when I heard of that there used to be a prisoner of war camp here, I didn't know about that. And this is one of the guard towers. I think this is guard tower eight for the camp. Guard Tower Number 8. As World War II raged in Europe and North Africa, this tower stood near here, but in a setting far different from today's. At that time, guards with rifles sat in this tower, peering down at prisoners of war. So yeah, there was seven main guard towers. And this was called Camp 130. Opened in 1939. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. I had no idea there was a prisoner of war camp here in Kananaskis. And there's a look at the original camp. And in the background there, circled in red, that's the guard tower number eight. That's from 1947.
Yeah, so that's interesting. Unfortunately, it's locked up too. Yeah, here's another look at the tower. So it'd be nice if I could have went in the cabin in this tower, but it's a pretty interesting stop anyway. Might as well, we were driving by Yeah, have a quick look. There's a little trail here I'm gonna take. And just have a look. See if they give some more history on the place. Because I think over in this area is where the camp would have been. But there's not going to be much or anything left of that, I don't think. Yeah, it seems to me the prisoner of war camp probably would have been over in this area. But I haven't seen anything yet to indicate it really, except it's a cleared out spot. So this must actually have something to do with it right here. It's an old cement pad or foundation it looks like. And yeah, off in the distance there, I can see a couple other cement bases or part of a foundation. Okay, we'll continue on down here. I said, I don't know if there's anything else down here. I have no idea. We saw a sign back there though that warned against cougars. Definitely want to watch out for those cougars and bears. We do have some bear spray with. We saw a couple bears on our trip so far. Just from the car, not while we were hiking. <laughs> That's when you don't really want to meet them. It's when you're hiking. But you have to be prepared. Make some noise. Always carry bear spray. The only thing that I saw that was remnants of the old camp was back there at the beginning. So maybe there isn't anything else. But it was worth a look. You never know what you're going to find. Yeah, I think we're back almost out. I haven't seen anything else. And yeah, we're back out. So it was a loop. Yeah, we're just heading back out. That's so all we saw was just that little foundation there at the beginning. There's a couple of these. 
So these might have something to do with the camp. But that's it. And there was a couple foundations or something that I saw over there, but like that's it. Okay guys, that'll be the end of the video. Yeah, I knew it would just be a quick stop. I'm still glad I stopped. It's always good to check out these historical places. And I didn't know what was left. The guard tower is cool and the cabin. It'd be nice if we could get in there, but we can't today. So yeah, that'll be about it. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, click the like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. See you later.